I'm Teresa Matic with Resource Investing News. Here with me today is Jean Martineau, President and CEO of Dynacore Mines. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Pleasure to be here today with you. So Dynacore is a bit different in that it purchases ore for processing rather than mining itself. Could you give us a brief overview of that process? Well, what we do, we, uh, we, uh, we have a mill to process ore. Uh, we buy the ore from a uh, small producer all around the country and then we process it and we sell it. So with the profit we, we finance and we, we finance our exploration and development of the company. So it is different because we don't have a mind to produce it. We buy the ore. So we're not dependent on, on, on reserves uh, because we, are, we, uh, we buy from hundreds of different uh, miners. Uh, and uh, we're not uh, so affected by the gold price either because uh, we have a margin on this. So it's, it's very interesting for us because it's a, it's a way to finance the company without continuous dil dilution in the market, as uh, most of the exploration companies, for example. Okay. You mentioned quite a few benefits there. Are there any more you'd like to add? And could you talk about some of the challenges of your model? Well, uh, uh, first of all, we had to compete in the beginning with other different uh, privately owned mill in Peru. Uh, we uh, have been in this business for 16, 17 years. And uh, as, when we began, we began as, as all the others with uh, quite a low recovery rate, which is the, the, probably the biggest challenge here because uh, you buy ore from hundreds of different miners. It's like you buy ore from hundreds of different mines. And when you build a mill, you build a mill for the ore you have in your, in, in your mine, and you design your mill for that. Now we buy ore from many different places and we mix it together. So there, to get a, a good, uh, high recovery rate, is the challenge here. And over the years, we've been able to increase that to almost 95% recovery rate, which is, in this business in Peru, uh, the highest recovery rate in all these mills. So it's, uh, it's, it's very good results it's, uh, over the years. And it permits us to have access to the best providers, highest uh, grade producer. Uh, it's, 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 it's part of our success. Okay. And Dynacore conducts exploration work as well. And you just announced a new drill campaign following your new high grade discovery at Tumi Pampa. Yes. What are you hoping to achieve with this program? Well, uh, we have encountered very high-grade uh, veins on the property over the years. We have identified uh, up to last year about uh, 15 high-grade gold veins. We did a cross-cut and we, uh, we went through the main structure called uh, Manto Dorado, which, which is uh, 7.4 meters wide with an average grade of uh, more than three quarters an ounce uh, per uh, and more than half an ounce per ton and up to one ounce per ton. So we're developing that, we're developing underground this year, we're gonna do more than uh, 2,000 uh, meters in uh, cross cut added chimneys, we're gonna do uh, 7,500 uh, 7, meters of drilling on the ground, on the spot, and uh, we hope that at the end of this program we'll be able to have our first 43-101 reserve and uh, resource report. So this is the, the first objective of this uh, next campaign. Excellent. And finally, what are your thoughts on illegal mining in Peru and how does that affect Dynacore? Well, this has been a, a big problem developed over the years when the gold price began to increase. Before uh, the 2000, the gold price was, or at the beginning of the 2000, uh, gold price was $250, $300. So it was a small problem in Peru and in other, many African countries, for example. And now with this high gold price, a lot of people went to, to mine uh, ore, and it has developed uh, uh, without control. So in 2002, the Peruvian government began a program, what they call formalizing process, to have all these guys in formal companies. And uh, we saw there a very a good opportunity for us to develop the business. Because as we are a company listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, everything is known, we publish all our results and a financial report. And uh, we are completely permitted. We, uh, there are actually in Peru uh, six males like us, totally uh, permitted. And you have other uh, males in the formalizing process. 
and uh, many very small outfits uh, still illegal. So the objective of the government is to eliminate all the illegal mining, illegal ore processing, because you have small mill and you have Kimbalitis. And this is what they have to do, because they want to eliminate the, the use of mercury, uh, illegal uh, cyanide use, uh, where they just threw it in, in rivers uh, when they, they, they are done with this. So it's something they have to do. So we are behind the government on this. We, we, uh, we, uh, we want to push on that too. We, uh, we are very, very uh, optimistic about that. Uh, it, has, it has taken more time than what we anticipated at the beginning, but it's, uh, it's normal, I think, in the, in the course of this business. So we, uh, now we buy ore from all uh, registered uh, miners there. We help them to organize themselves in companies because uh, it's, not, uh, it's not easy for these guys uh, to organize themselves in company. Uh, you, uh, it's easy to understand. So we, we work with them, they, they regroup together to form companies and we are behind that. And I think on a long-term basis, it's going to give us access to much more uh, 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 ore to process in the future. Thanks for joining me, John. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm Teresa Madich with Resource Investing News.